this is David for Big Bits. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the new feature Find and Replace on TradingView. This is for the Pine Script section where you are working with creating your own strategies and your own indicators. And what they have added, of course, is the Find and Replace tool. To bring this up, you can hit Control and F, and it'll bring up the Find tool. And if you want to bring up Find and Replace, you can hit Control H, and it will bring up the find and replace options as well. Now, of course, if you just hit control F, you can use the little drop down here to bring that section out as well. Now, you might be wondering why is this useful? If you haven't used this tool in a text editor and you haven't coded very much, you probably uh, really haven't had much of a need for it. But the actual need for it is when you are taking code and you are reusing it, it makes a lot of sense to try to find where you have used certain things within your code uh, to go back and see where it actually occurs. And then also, if you are taking code from another script and you are working with it, you might want to change the names of variables. Uh, you might need to rename certain things and using the find and replace does that really well. Now, the find it's just basically a, a very simple search and i'll go ahead and show you right now i've renamed one of the variables already the src was lowercase and now it is uppercase within here you can see that i'll actually change this though back to src you can see it finds it here and you actually have some search options and if i were to make this match the case it would now no longer find any search results because you have to have a case requirement. So if you're working with variables that have uh, names that are common and you kind of reuse some of the prefixes and things, using match case might be helpful, particularly in longer ones. And I did forget to mention that if you are using uh, Pine and you are creating your own functions, the find feature is also really good for going back and finding where you have actually implemented your functions so that you can go ahead and update your function uh, references. So, uh, for example, you add a new parameter into your functions, you can easily find where all of your instances of your functions are by going to the find tool. And if you knew what you needed to pass in, if it was the same on all of them, you could actually replace the whole line if you needed to. So. That's an option. And you also have other search options here, such as whole word. Now, this isn't going to change anything. Uh, let me actually take off match case. You can see it finds all three because SRC is its own word. Now, if I had used something else like uh, RC, it will not find anything. I take this off, and it finds multiple instances. In fact, it found an extra one beyond SRC. So we're going to change this back to SRC. Let's make sure it matches the case. And you'll notice there's actually one more option on here called regexp, and this stands for regular expression. And this is basically a search pattern that you can use to find something. So if you have this selected and you go over here, it's going to search for a sequence of characters based on a pattern. Now we've typed in SRC, so that's what it's gonna search for. Let's go ahead and take match case off. You can see it still finds it because it's still searching for SRC and it doesn't really care too much about the case. So let me show you a little bit more about regular expressions and you can go to Wikipedia to learn a little bit more about these. I went ahead and highlighted this is a sequence of characters that define a search pattern. Uh, this isn't like uh, searching for a few characters in a row or something that you know. This is more of a pattern like something has to be in the form of an email or a phone number. Uh, that you can recognize and determine from a different pattern. So you can see here, this is kind of an example of regular expression. The, all these different characters mean something else as far as how the regular expression is uh, understood by the code and can find the pattern within the text that it's searching. So these are actually pretty complicated. Uh, I wouldn't touch this <laughs> unless you absolutely need to. It's a pretty advanced feature. I do a lot of coding in Pine. I'm not sure I need to ever use this, uh, but it's kind of nice that they have it available for you just in case you do. And if you need to learn and you need to play around with your regular expressions, this is a good site to do that. 
regxer.com. Uh, you can go in here, you can put your own text in here and you can try your own pattern and you can see what it's actually doing. And it actually shows you when you highlight it or when you hover over it, what your particular uh, pattern is doing in the highlighted section. So it's actually pretty helpful in that way. All right, so back to the find and replace. Of course, you can always iterate through your different results. So you can see it's on one of three. So if we go down, it'll take us to two of three and it highlights it. And it will continue to do that over and over. Of course, go up. Uh, this is all very simple and of course you can close this. Now on replace, say we wanted to replace the highlighted instance with the lowercase version. Let's make sure we have match case on. And now, if we wanted to replace this with the lowest case version on this particular line, all we would have to do is just choose replace. It's very simple. If you wanted to replace all the other instances, or if you want to replace all of them to begin with, all you have to do is just hit replace all, and it will replace that. Now, something that gets a lot of people in trouble when they're coding uh, newer beginners is they will type out something long that they want to replace, like standard deviation uh, SRC uh, length. And what they'll do is they will uh, search for this, but the text that they really want to change is the SRC here to the, let's just say the capitalized. Now, the reason they do this is they only want to change this particular instance um, but they forget that they have to, when they use replace, replace the entire text. So you're not just replacing uh, whatever part you think you are. You have to actually replace everything within the find section here. So I know this is pretty uh, basic for a lot of people out there, but there are a lot of people who uh, don't have English as a first language and don't have a lot of experience uh, just in general with computers who are actually following the channel. So I wanted to go over this for everyone just in case they needed that. And for those who aren't actually aware, if you're searching on Google and you came across this video, that's probably uh, one of the reasons why I made this video so that people who aren't aware can be aware of these new features. But that is it for this video. If you like the video, please leave a like. I definitely appreciate you coming by and watching the whole video. And of course, while you're down there, please subscribe. That helps me a whole lot. Plus, you'll get updates on new features on TradingView, uh, other indicators indicators, tutorials, and other things that I do regarding trading view and crypto related things as well. But that's it for today. Thank you and have a great day.